Hi, this is Jay. Welcome to Bright Ideas. Frederick Skinner. He worked with rats and pigeons. The theory of Skinner is based upon the idea that learning is a function of change in overt behavior. He introduced the term operant, which means to act upon. He put a hungry rat in a box, and each time the rat pressed the lever, a food pellet would be given. This resulted in the rat pressing the lever each time it wanted food. The change in behavior of learning by the rat is the result of the animal's response to events or stimuli and occur in the environment. For example, a child will do her homework because she knows that she will be allowed to watch her favorite TV program. When a particular response or behavior is reinforced or rewarded, the individual is conditioned to respond. Reinforcement is the key element in Skinner SR theory. A reinforce could be anything. It could be a parent saying good work or the child obtaining an A in history, which gives the child a feeling of accomplishment and satisfaction. These are examples of positive reinforcement. However, there are also negative reinforcers which are any stimuli that give rise to a response when it is withdrawn. For example, the rat will press the lever to stop the electric shock given. A mother will pick up her child who is crying because she can't bear to hear him cry. Similarly, when you enter a car, you put on a safety belt to avoid the irritating sound of the buzzer. In other words, the behavior of picking the baby and putting on the safety belt is performed to avoid unpleasantness. Walter Bandura The social learning theory of Bandura emphasized the importance of observing and modeling the behaviors, attitudes, and emotional reactions of others. According to Bandura, learning would be a slow process if people had to rely to solely on their own efforts to do anything. Fortunately, a substantial amount of human behavior is learned by observing others. For a student to learn, he or she must watch and pay attention to the model and the behavior being modeled. The information observed must be retained in some form by memory. Next, the student must have the necessary motor and cognitive skills to reproduce the model behavior. The motivation to observe and reproduce the model behavior depends on whether the student will derive satisfaction from reproducing the behavior observed. Among the most common and pervasive examples of social learning situations are television advertisements. Advertisements suggest that drinking a certain beverage or using particular hair shampoo will make us popular and win the admiration of attractive people. Depending upon the component processes involved such as attention or motivation, we may model the behavior shown in the advert and by the product being advertised. Individuals are more likely to model behaviors the result in something that is valued or if the model is similar to the observer and has admired status.